Hey everyone, it's Anna. So I recently shared a haul from uh, Goulet Pens, and uh, this was one of the items that I purchased. This is Emerald de Chavour from the um, uh, J. Erbon, J. Erbin, Jacques Erbin. I don't know, I'm not French. My friend Jen could tell me how this uh, is pronounced because she speaks French. <laughs> I do not. Um, but I thought I would share this with you. Um, see, I have the wax seal there of 1670. Notice the waxed uh, cap as well. So I was reading this little booklet that came with the ink, and it says, uh, established in Paris in 1670 when King Louis the Fourteenth was 32 years old, Erbin... Urban, I don't know, started selling sealing wax, fine stationery inks, and importing shellac from India. In 1798, he, from the fourth generation of the family, started production of the finest quality inks. Through various years and journeys, the range expanded, innovations were introduced, the trademarks registered. These included um, violet ink used in schools of the French Third Republic, uh, pearl inks, and traveler's inks. Numerous awards were won in the days of great industry exhibitions in London and in Paris. Over the last three centuries, with its myriad of shades inspired by the company's history of seafaring voyages and in the glimmer of faraway lands, the aim has remained constant, to give body and color to our thoughts. They are a subsidiary of Incompta Clairefontaine um, since 2003, and the inks are now proud to produce, um, or they are now proud to produce the exclusive Jacques Herbin collection. <laughs> I wish I knew how to say these things. This comprises a range of fine quality inks, writing instruments, nibs, fountain pens, stationery, leather accessories, tailored specially for lettering connoisseurs, calligraphers, illustrators, artists, and travelers. The 1670 inks exclusive to the Jacques Herbin collection commemorate the year of the creation of the house right in the heart of Paris. It was curated, excuse me, created first of all to originally market its sealing wax and later its writing inks. The intense and deep colors of the 1670 anniversary are illuminated by gold glitter. This particular color is a bluish tint with green highlights obtained thanks to twinkling of its golden glitter shines brightly for an ever renewed pleasure of writing. The most famous emeralds known to have a particularly sparkling beauty date from the time of the conquistadors and come from the Chavour mines in Colombia. Shake the bottle. Very cool. I didn't know all of that. So what fun. Can you imagine being a company around still today that established in 1670? That's amazing. <laughs> amazing. So I thought I would share that with you. Um, but then I'm also going to um, do some ink samples here and thought you might like to see that as well. I'm going to be using this little um, um, thing of... Uh, labels to make um, uh, colors on my lids of the uh, bottles. Holy cow, if I could speak and think um, and cut it with my sisters at the same time, that'd be helpful. <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to use these to create labels on the top of my lids here so that I can kind of color code them. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I have my little um, tea towel here next to me. I also have a container of water um, to clean things in and I have my um, Moon Man dip pin. And what else do I need? I need my little um, foundation <laughs> container lid to hold my ink samples and all right, so let's take a look here and see what we have got. Um, I know I have two uh, duplicates that I've already sampled in here. They are, um, and they were in a curated set, so which that's why I have duplicates. Uh, but also, cool colors, so I'm not mad about getting a duplicate. Holy crap, Ola. Okay, where am I here? So the two colors that I already have that I got another sample of, here's one. Organics Studio Nitrogen. So I was saying how this is a really dark blue with that red sheen. So you can see the red sheen there. And even when, it, um, even when you write with it, you can see the sheen of the ink. So very cool. So happy to have a second sample of that one. And there was another one there. 
that I had um, a duplicate of too. I'll have to get to it when we get to it. I don't remember offhand which one it was. But so let's just start with this one. This is Earl Grey from Diamine. Is it Diamine or Diamine? 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 I don't know. <laughs> I feel like a hot mess right now. All right, so I'm just going to put my little uh, sticker here on my lid. Okay, so that's ready to go. And, ooh. I'm not going to be able to um, smoosh it with the um, Q-tips. All right, so this is the format I was using. The company, the color, one, two, threes, ABCs. And this is Earl Grey. Ooh, I like that. Um, Earl Grey is my favorite tea. I think I mentioned that um, earlier this week uh, after I got some little chocolates from Marilyn that tasted like Earl Grey tea. Delicious, by the way. Ooh, I like I like that a lot. So the reason I got this Earl Grey was because I um, had tried uh, a sample of the Noodlers. Oh, actually, I need to I need to color my lid here. Um, I got a sample of Noodlers Lexington Grey, which is a very popular ink, but I don't know if my sample was sketchy, but um, I was not happy with it. So I'll show that to you. Um, that's really pretty, actually. So my sample of Noodlers, uh, Lexington Gray, was this one here. And it just was really feathery. Um, the sample here was just kind of goopy. And the, there's a turquoise ink in it, a light blue ink in it, that um, really spread when I used it. So I really was not happy with that gray. So that's why I thought I would try this um, Earl Gray. I like that much better. So a lovely... All right, so moving this over to, I'm putting these in a little empty case here. This is a shotgun shell case. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna drop those in there and then I'll organize them a little bit later. All right, so I'm gonna throw that Q-tip away because the other end was already uh, dirty. Let's see, next up is Colorverse Andromeda. All right. Whoa. This is serious. That is um, some serious, like, neon. Oh, okay. Where my Q-tips go? <laughs> oh, wow. Um, I think before I get started here, I'm going to put my sticker on my cap. <clears throat> All right. Now I can... Holy cow, this is some serious color. That's fun. All right, so this is Colorverse. Wow. Holy cow, this is <laughs> bright. Um, okay, one, two, three. What a beautiful ink, though. It writes really, really nicely. Gorgeous. I'll have to look and see if this was a high sheening ink. 
Um, cause I really only ordered, um, either sheeting inks or the popular great. Oh, wow. <laughs> I wish you guys could have seen that. Um, let me put the lid on this here. Actually, let me do it again so you can see it. Okay. So I've got a little ink on my pin tip here and I have my water here and I am going to I hope you can see how cool this is. I don't know if you can see it. We're just going to give it a go. <laughs> it's like um, not even blending with the water. It's like staying um, in its own like swirls of ink. I feel like such a geek, um, but that was amazing. All right, so this is a really beautiful color. Oh, I can see it's probably going to have a green or a gold sheen. Ooh, that's going to be fun. All right, so that was Colorverse Andromeda. All right, next, let's do... Um, let's do this one. This is Colorverse Quasar. sticker on there these labels of mine that I cut down are like I don't know 80 years old I swear um, all right so this is colorverse quasar wow this is some serious color so don't let me forget to zoom you guys out here there you go um, let's see this is probably gonna be messy holding it like this Good night, that is dark. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's really, really dark. <clears throat> Wow, that's cool. I like that ink a lot. <clears throat> Very nice. Wow, <laughs> rinsing this ink off in the water was pretty fun too. It's so cool. I wish you guys could see, ex experience it like I am. <clears throat> Let's cap this puppy so we don't have a disaster with this ink. Holy moly, that would be dangerous. Um, let's go next to... Organic Studio Aldous Huxley. Alright, this is, looks like it's going to be like a turquoise. Ooh. Gorgeous. Probably very similar to that Emerald de Chavour. <clears throat> but no um, shimmer in it. Isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous, gorgeous.
I bet this is one of the high sheening inks as well. So it's probably gonna have some red maybe um, as it dries. So this one, as it dried, it left a gold sheen where the ink was really heavy along the outside edge here. And this one as well, it has like a um, gold sheen where the ink was heavy. Right, let's move on to Diamine, Diamine Polar Glow. Blue. And I'm bound to get ink all over my hands uh, during this process, but it's part of the fun, I think. <laughs> Ooh, whoa. Gorgeous. Polar. Beautiful. Ooh, this has a heavy red sheen as well. I can already see it right here along the edges and around this little circle here and down here. Be interesting to see if we get it in the writing sample. All right, moving on to the next one. This one is Organics Studio Ralph Waldo Emerson. Organics Studio. Beautiful. This one has a heavy red sheen as well. And I think it just comes down to choosing which one you like the best. If you're looking for a blue ink with a red sheen, there's many to choose from. So just determining which one you like best. Organics Studio Santiago's Sea Blue. This is like a, looks like Prussian blue. Actually, it looks like my pen <laughs> that I just got as well. This is like a nice blue-black. I really am drawn to this um, blue-black color. All right, so up next is Robert Oster Fire and Ice. Pop the bubble there. This is a bit of a brighter turquoise. Ooh, wow. Holy cow. That's really bright. <laughs> that is bright. <laughs> I think this would be a highly staining color as well. <laughs> Robert Oster. much lighter in color, but I can already see it's getting a little bit of shading or a sheen out here on the outside edge. This is gorgeous. Wow.
Look, Patty, it's turquoise. Well, that's beautiful. Let's go on to this little bag. <clears throat> All right, look at more turquoises. All right, here's another Organics Studio one. Oh my goodness. Look at that. <laughs> wow. All right, Organics Studio. Wow, this is incredible. It has the brightest sheen on here. That was a really heavy lay down of ink too. So you can see here it looks more green when you write with it than when you lay it down the, with the Q-tip. Wow. <laughs> I'm hoping you can see that sheen. See the pink. That's incredible. Amazing. I remember when I was younger, my mom used to write, and I've mentioned this before, she used to write with medium big pens all the time. And sometimes they were just really juicy. Um, and I remember sometimes the blue of the big pens would leave a red sheen like this. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. All right, moving along. So Private Reserve Avocado is up next. I don't think this is a sheening ink. I think this is just a green ink. Um, so it probably won't have the wow factor <laughs> that these others have had so far. But still, sure to be beautiful. Ooh, that's like an Oregon duck green. is private reserve this is my first private reserve sample fun ink it's got lots of shading in it <clears throat> so there's lots of variation to the um the writing, that's fun. I like that color, actually. All right, moving along to another one here. We have got uh, Noodler's Chivago. Gorgeous. Beautiful olive color. All right, I'm getting ink all over me. <laughs> Not to worry, though. All right, noodlers. Nice olive green. It'd be interesting to see what the dry time is on that Noodler's ink. Um, the Noodler's Air Corp that I have takes forever to dry. All right, so here is, holy cow, look at this. <gasps> Remember, that's green ink. Look at the sheen on that. Wow. Wow, you even get it in the writing sample around the outside edges. 
um, of all the letters is a um, green, I mean a pink, pink sheen. Goodness, that's bright. Okay, this one is Sailor Ink Studios 967. This looks kind of like a grass green. Oops, just put my lid in, or my thumb in the lid. I find the Sailor inks to be quite light in color. So I suspect this one is going to be as well. They do have a lot of interesting color characteristics though you'll um, sometimes you'll see like lots of blues and pinks and purples in one color I don't know that we'll get any of those colors in this one but it's quite the spring green Number 967. Oops, I didn't do any of my fun doodles in there. Let me get some of that in there. <laughs> Cute. I like that color. I don't know if I like it as well as I like some of my other olive um, greens and pea, like spring pea greens, like um, this one and this one. I think I like these two better than this one. This is definitely brighter, brighter, brighter. All right, let's move on. That's amazing. <laughs> Goodness gracious. All right, let's move on. I am so um, wowed by that. I'll probably have to get um, a small bottle of that ink or just put it in my pen from a sample and just buy another sample. All right, so this one is Robert Oster Tranquility. And this is yet another turquoise, blue-green color. Oh, wow. Well, oh, that's beautiful. Gorgeous. Oh, I bet this is another one of the sheening inks, maybe. I wonder, with that dark edge around, oops, I touched it, with that dark edge coming in. All right, so this is Lamy Peridot. I'm assuming that's how that's pronounced. All right, so this is Lamy. Where is it? Peridot. Pretty green. It's very pretty green, actually. It's really pretty. Woo, <laughs> I got a lot on my finger that time. That's actually very pretty. That's gorgeous. It's like, um, I can see why they call this tranquility because that looks like you're looking into water. That's really, really very beautiful. And I think it's showing it much bluer than it actually is. Um, in person. Yeah, it looks to me like it's coming in blue, but it's like a beautiful, I don't know, like Bahamas water turquoise. Uh, let's see. This one is Holly from Diamine or Diamine. So 
another green. Another popular green. This was supposed to be like best sellers green. Which I can see why these are in best sellers. They're gorgeous. I think to a point I just start playing or wanting to play. That's a good sign when I'm enjoying a color so much I just want to continue playing with it. I got interrupted by an alarm on my phone. So Diamine Holly. This is gorgeous. This is a sheening ink. I can already see the red coming up through the green here. So it could have been either in the best seller green inks or it could have been included in the sheening inks. I'm guessing it was in the sheening um, inks. Wow. <laughs> Gorgeous. Boy, I've made a complete mess of myself tonight here. Let's see if I can manage to not tip any ink bottles over, though. That would be awful. <laughs> All right, we've got uh, three more. Sherwood Green. And I think this was in the uh, best-selling green inks. And this one actually has been on my list for a while um, for getting a sample of it. So I, when I saw it in the curated... Um, green set. I was like, oh, good. I've been wanting to see this color. That's beautiful. I can see why they called that um, Sherwood. It's definitely a nice forest green, but it's not super dark forest green. Gorgeous. Maybe you can see the sheen on the holly. I don't know if you can see it, the red that's come up here. And in each of these green circles here, there's a little red circle. Really beautiful, actually. All right, let's um, move on. There's two more. So if you've hung in with me this long, congratulations. Um, R. Robert Oster, River of Fire. Ooh, actually, I might have that one. Let's look. Green at night. Oh, maybe I don't have it. Oh, this is Rings of Fire. Well, let's give this a shot. Interesting. All right, so Robert Oster, River of Fire. Makes me wonder if I just mislabeled the other one. I'll have to find it and look. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Gorgeous. Wow. I am really digging these greens. beautiful. And we have one more to look at. 
and I don't think I'm ever going to get this green ink off of me. <laughs> I'll be doing videos for life with green fingers. And let's see, Diamine Dark Forest. Oh wow, this is more of a blue. This reminds me of like a blue spruce. Oh yeah, I love this color. Let's see, what was this one called? Dark Forest. gorgeous very similar to this one here so I'll have to see when I when they dry which one I prefer there are those two that is a gorgeous color This is just amazing. Wow. This one looks so boring compared to all these really heavy sheening and, um, you know, de depth of color. This one just kind of looks flat. I'm not a big fan of this one here. This uh, 967. It's just too bright when it's riding. I really like this one, the Santiago's blue, uh, Sea Blue. That's gorgeous. And it's got that red sheen as well, similar to the Ralph Waldo, Waldo Emerson and the Nitrogen. <clears throat> That's really pretty. It's that um, Prussian Blue with the red sheening on it. And this is gorgeous as well. This is a beautiful color. It's really like a blue purple. And then this one, holy cow. This is really, really bright when you ride it, but it tones down actually when it dries. And I do really like that gray. Well, those are the fun samples that I got. How fun is that? I love these. And then some of the previous inks that I had, um, browns and greens, some purples and blues. <clears throat> I'm finding that I really like the Robert Oster brand. This Sydney Darling Harbor one is really beautiful as well. Here's another avocado from a different brand. I really like this um, graphite one as well. The motor oil is the one I'm using in one of my pens. Yeah, see these Robert Oster um, colors are gorgeous. This one I'm not too hip on, but it could just be my sample. Maybe it just needs a heavier, um, like a broader nib. Hickory Aflame. Gorgeous. Isn't color fun? <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is, uh, or this one here is this ink. So this is really pretty. And I also really love this color, but dang, this color takes so long to dry. So anyway, I hope that has been fun for you. I know it was fun for me <laughs> to get all inky. And uh, now I need to go address the reason that my timer went off. I need to go turn the water off down at the uh, blackberries. So hope you all have a wonderful night and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.